Miss Missy, it's complicated. We're doing this live, man. We got a beautiful woman here from Las Vegas, and it's complicated. He's gonna ask Shannon. Shannon, he's gonna ask her some good questions. Are you going softball? Or are you going hardball? I'll just start with like a general opener. I All right, guess. go for it. All right, general opener. Uh, what's one thing you wish men understood better about women? How to right. How to what? That's right. How to right. Okay, I have a great one. That's a very open question. Uh, a very open right. answer, but what's the right way to have? the travel OG and I traded in my Hollywood lifestyle for the sexy beaches of Pattaya, Thailand. We're bringing you exclusive interviews, showing you what the golf courses are like, the caddies are like, what the homies like. Zoom to Thailand with your man Richie Matt. Travel LG. Shannon Stewart, born May 25th, 1978, in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, is an American model and actress. She is the June 2000 Playboy Playmate of the Month, and she's also appeared in several Playboy videos. You dig? And she's more than just an ex Playmate. Super smart, super cool. This all happened by happenstance. I was meeting up with one of my favorite YouTubers. It's complicated. Have you guys ever heard of him? What would happen if a man came up to you and said, I think you're really attractive. If I took you out, spent money on you, made you laugh and feel special, would you be open to sex and potentially a relationship? Yeah, yeah. No. no. Never. But isn't that completely honest? That's completely That's honest. honest. Do you think a guy would approach you for any reason other than the potential to have sex? No, cause, oh, wait. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm hot, so like, maybe. Do you think that guys go out approaching women because they want to be friends? No. No, no, no they do want to Yeah, that guy. The man you rarely see with some of the best questions on YouTube. You want my God on his truth? Nope. If you haven't heard of his complicated, check out his channel, please. Back to the story. While I was in Vegas, we were meeting up for an interview, and my man Don just happened to know Shannon, the playmate, along with her husband, and they were cool enough to get on camera and get right to it. Here's what happened. What's the right way to have There's gotta be connection. There's gotta be, um, you know, there's gotta be something there. Like, here's an interesting one. Why do men have to pay a higher price in order to have access to a shared activity? Why is that? Uh, you know, I think women just Okay, so based upon this logic, since men are stronger than women, should men be able to take advantage of women physically? Yep. So why should women be able to take advantage of men just because they can? They shouldn't. But they do. They do. But they so why aren't they ashamed of that? They shouldn't be able to, and they should feel ashamed when not all women do because the culture we live in right. has taught young girls to right. value their selves with money. Do you think that women are the problem, or do you think that people influencing women are the problem? I think the world's the problem. I mean, listen, I was a playmate. I came from the world of being looked at and judged and being in magazines. Right. My daughter's not that way. Okay. But a lot of her friends are. And she could have been had I been that way. Okay. And most girls are. So I right. think it's just the society we grew up in. Girls right. are getting sponsors on Instagram and up on a college. They're right. on right. OnlyFans. Uh -huh. That's what they're being taught is okay now. Right. I wasn't taught that way. Okay. But so then why then, if women are not held, held accountable for that behavior, why should men be held accountable for their toxic behavior? Or their so-called toxic behavior? It's a double standard that's lost forever. Then why do women only complain about the double standards when it doesn't benefit them? All right, all right, all right, stop right there. In fairness to Shannon, she was minding her own business, having lunch with her husband, and here we come with all the questions. She handled it like a champ. We're gonna get back to the interview, but first, I gotta give you guys a montage of a future video I got cooking. Since Pattaya is the Las Vegas of Thailand, you know I gotta bring you the next verses. Pattaya versus Las Vegas. It's complicated with throwing jabs at her, she did well. I need you guys to tap in in the comment section and let me know if you wanna bring Shannon on live so you guys can ask her questions as well. Shannon was a Playboy Playmate in June of 2000, and she still looks great. Shout out to Shannon, and it's complicated. And if you want to see more, hit the like button. Make sure to set the notifications to all, because for some reason, the numbers ain't hitting as hard as they supposed to, you dig? So if you're appreciating the work I'm putting in, make sure to join the Patreon. Hit the cash app and support the show. Patreon members, you know I got something special cooking for you guys. And it'll be airing shortly after this episode. Thank you for your support. Thank you for holding me down. And if you're serious about coming to Thailand, book your consultation before you book your flight. I can help you with that as well, you dig?
like a rocker Get it done to your be feeling much better Don't be angry cause I'm feeling no pleasure Feeling no pleasure, feeling no pleasure You get nothing, get it, you get nothing, get it I ain't gonna lie to you. I haven't been to Vegas in almost five years. The thing about Vegas is, it always reinvents itself. For instance, take my boy Pierre. He has the best soul food spot in Vegas. Ella M's. Named after his grandmother, I had to come all the way from Thailand to see for myself what all the fuss was about. Ella M's did not disappoint. Reserve my man and lady. I got the reserve table up in here. Yes, sir. You, understand you know me? we had to lay it out for you, Mr. Mac, absolutely. man. Absolutely, my brother. Yes, sir. Man, I've been wanting to see you, man, because Don said you've been trying to reach out, and we was missing each other, and I said, I don't want to think I'm on some old Hollywood bullshit. No, nah, I didn't think yeah. that all, brother. I know you busy, and you know, you uh, handling things over there. The time difference, yeah. I totally get it. I've been preaching the gospel over here. Man. You would think I was part of Zoom to Thailand. You are. You are part of Zoom to Thailand. To top it off, they even came with the OG Kool-Aid. Now it's time to get down. I'll give you random questions that we get asked. Okay. okay. So oxtails are number one. They're big for 10 hours. They fall right off the Want that. That's it. Pork chops, fried chicken, Say fried ooh. catfish, organic items that everybody leans towards. Uh-huh. If you go with pork chops, you can do one fried, one grilled, one smothered. Ooh. Um, if you go with the fried chicken, it says white meat or dark meat. It doesn't have to be white meat or dark meat. You can mix it. Say you want a breast crispy, a thigh with some beef gravy, a leg or a with chicken gravy. Oh, yes, you can shit. Do that. Okay. <laughs> Your sides are going to consist of either turkey bacon or uh, turkey bacon or turkey. There's no beef or pork in any of our products. Wow. So cabbage, greens, red beans, black eyed peas will consist of turkey bacon or turkey. Wow. You can put rice underneath the black eyed peas or the red beans if you want to. It'll still be considered one side. Wow. Okay. You can mix your cabbage and greens uh -huh. if you want to. It's not going to be scrambled mix. It's going to be half and half. Uh, that'll still be considered one side. Wow. Okay. He about um, to make you famous, Alan. Go ahead, Alan. Um, <laughs> hey, yeah, he's doing his <laughs> thing. The final question that we normally get is when the oxtails, they do not come with rice and gravy. Some people like to use that as one of their sides, but uh -huh. underneath the oxtails, uh -huh. they'll still have two more sides to get. Okay. okay. Um, some waffles only come with eggs, and there's no substitution. All right, well, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to get down because I'm going to take some stuff home. I, right. I don't live here, so I, I'm, I'm telling you, I want the oxtails. Okay, yeah. with your oxtails, you get... Um, your oxtails, you get three sides. So go ahead and give me three sides on that. Uh, you got red beans and rice? Yep. Give me the red beans and rice. And what'd you say comes with it? You said rice and gravy? It doesn't come with rice and gravy, but uh -huh. if you want to bet some rice underneath there, you can do that as one. Should I do that on the red beans and rice? your sides, uh, They're going to be located down here on the bottom. We got yams, black eyed peas. Oh, give me the yams. Uh, cabbage, green. Dressing. Give me Ooh, you got dressing. Give me the yams and the, uh, what you suggest? I don't know. Hey, it's all good. I know I'm doing I'm yams. I'm biased to ass. I eat it all. Really? I'm trying to get two things. Well, I'm not we just gonna, gonna, hey, You just get what you want, uh, yeah. Richie Mike. Yeah. Yeah. This all on me. Oh, no, no. But, no I'm so proud of this. Because I'm going to get two things. I'm getting the, okay. get the pork chops, too. I'm going to get it in. So, uh, I will probably go to you with some mac and cheese. With there you go. Needless to say, I tried to eat every damn thing on the menu. <laughs> Food was good. Service was great place was packed. If you're ever in Vegas or you live in Vegas, make sure to stop by, dine in, or take out Ella M's and tell them Zoom sent you. <laughs> Meanwhile, next door, I found a blast from the past. I want a super fro. Get the blowout kit. How about an Afro puff? Get the blowout kit. And for a soulful cornrow? Afro Sheen's blowout kit makes your hair softer, more lustrous, and easier to manage. A throwback hair supply place. What is the last time y'all seen? Stay soft for all. Damn. They got the OG oil sheen. This is the OG Afro sheen. Wow. 
any of y'all remember Good Fred Oil, Afro Sheen, Stay Soft Afro? They had all oh, man. I might come here. Yeah, I'm mad to say thank you so much, brother, for your spot. Best old food in Las Vegas. It lived up to his name. Appreciate you so much, man. Thank you, good brother. I'm gonna see for you next in Vegas, and I'm gonna see you in Thailand. What you gonna we see me in Thailand, man? There it is. I'm gonna, I'm gonna beat you there. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about, <laughs> my brother. My thank brother. you so much. Thank yes, you. sir. I will be back. You better. You did. You did. <laughs> Give me a theme music. Theme music. Hey. <laughs> Zoom to Thailand. Hope you coming too. Uh -huh. Richie Mac, travel OG with celebrity interviews. Get your passport, let's go. let's go. This is what you need for show. Brothers in Thailand and bikini babes at the beach. If you need more, he got it popping. Caddy of the day, we golfing. Really ain't a better option. Time to travel. Like, subscribe, and leave a comment. Let's connect. Uh, Richie Mac, yeah, we steady vibing. Take a journey, let's get moving. Cause we zooming right to Thailand. Hey, Richie Mac, travel OG. Let's go. Hey man, we got some other mutual friends, man. I talk about you all the time, pretty much to everybody, because I'm just excited about my uh, that's what future. That, that's what Don was saying. That's what Don was saying. He, that's how. That's how I found out that y'all knew each other, just yeah. talking about you know right. general about right. you know becoming an expat. He said, "Man, Richie Mack, that's my partner." So I was mentioning <laughs> to another one of my homeboys, DT. Damn, yeah. I seen D'Artagnan and damn, I ain't heard that name in forever. Yeah. Damn. That's one of my best friends. So, wow. Uh, That's how you know you made it when, when the hood know about your spot. Because I'm like, damn, the people at home know? they like, nigga, oh, everybody man, knows. No, they know. <laughs> I've been preaching the gospel over here. Man. You would think I was part of Zoom to Thailand. You are. You are part of Zoom to Thailand. The, 